everyone. It is, let's see here, Wednesday, April 19th. Um, so, since the last time you saw me in the shop, uh, I've stopped at the shop twice now this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, which is today, um, after work. Um, as I said, I was trying to size that left rear tire um, for Corey to run at MTS. Um, I have successfully grown at another inch, <laughs> but I need some more. So I contacted a few days ago my buddy of mine um, in racing and, and uh, basically asked, hey, well, what's, a, what's a new trick I can do to get this tire to what I need to? And so I'm trying his way and it's working just a little slowly. So I'm going to swing back to the shop probably tomorrow and, and uh, see if I can keep growing it a little more. Um, uh, again, I'm trying to make a set of tires be competitive against the slicks that we run at at, um, at MTS. Uh, the slicks are, are D20s that Duro between 44 and 48. And uh, Corey wants a new challenge and they're running the tread program that we run up at uh, Rice Lake and Thunder Hill and, and, and Eagle's Nest up in our, our northern area that we race at, um, which is a harder right side tire, which Daryl's in that 55 range. And of course the, the left side tires are a lot smaller. So you, like I've stated before, you got like four, four and a half inches thicker. And I've shrunken my right sides um, and now basically I'm trying to grow the left side to close up the stagger because you don't want that much stagger at this specific track with this harder tire to try to be competitive with the slicks. Um, otherwise it's just not going to happen. Um, so that's what I'm, I've been working on. Um, it's been kind of an up and down week. Um, par partially my fault because I didn't read read the fine print closely enough, Corey actually caught it, but uh, I was revealed um, from Buzzy at Rice Lake, he is going to be implementing the uh, the Stager rule that Thunder Hill runs, which is two and a half inches of Stager, and I was under the impression that that's front and back, um, so of course I was panicking and voicing my opinion to certain people. Um, promoters and, and racers that we race with in this division and uh, basically was like we're not going to be able to run our bodies and and because we got to have the tire size to this um, so I don't have three three and a half inches stagger so that requires me to now grow my left front which now I can't fit under my body and we were talking about even putting flat sides on it and getting those getting those vinyl which is now costing more money and then we actually have a, a set of custom spindles being built high cross spindles um, to give us this this uh, leeway because the tire is literally less than a finger width um, the left front tire like in Corey's is literally a, a finger width to the body and the spindle is in the the middle um, so now that's limiting my adjustment on the cart and I hate not having adjustments on the cart. So that's what we got going on. So we chose to hook up with Shane over at Fast Factory. He's custom building us some spindles to try out and see if they work. Um, but I was I was pretty fired up. We were even honestly to the point, we weren't sure if we were gonna race up north. Um, and then Corey basically screenshot and, and was like, uh, but it's rear only. And that's my bad. Um, felt kind of stupid, but yeah. So that relieves the stress that we were having on if we could use our bodies and this and that. So uh, we're always doing something, but I'm uh, starting to rant. But I just thought I'd jump on here and start uh, kind of the process of what we got going on this week. Uh, we'll be getting together sometime this weekend to scale carts. Cause we got to get Corey on the scales, we got to get Dad on the scales, um, and then of course Leona would like to jump on the scales, and we'll, we'll check her numbers too. So 
but we're we're planning on practice here in the next week and a half. It's also weather permitting, um, so so we always got something going on amongst that. The boys are working on the new trailer, getting that kind of prepped in the inside. Um, at this point, I don't know. I don't think my dad's been making a video vlog of it, but I haven't pulled the footage off of it yet. So eventually, that'll get 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 thrown on the YouTube. So. We're going to try right. to make these work, um, these tires work at MTS, and I'm going to try to get them to be as competitive as the slicks as I, as I can, and uh, we'll see what we can do. So, hey, well, day three this week, so day four total of trying to roll that left rear tire. Uh, tread for MTS and I think I've hit the the point of can't get any more out of it um, I have grown the tire roughly inch and a half ish and I can't I can't get any more out of it I had a hundred pounds of air in that little damn ass tire that 11 by five and a half on a six inch rim. 100 pounds of air in the oven. I just, I can't, can't get any more. So I think I've peaked out my max uh, size on that. Um, so the next step, we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it one try is take the right side tires and see if I can shrink them. I have done it a few times trying to shrink it farther than I did uh, last year, but I always, I couldn't, it was kind of the same thing. I couldn't get past a certain point, but I'm curious now that the tires are seasoned, uh, did that change anything regarding some of the structure of the tire, like the, the cords and stuff. The, so we're gonna, dad's gonna dismount the right sides tonight. I'm gonna swing back tomorrow after work and uh, we're gonna give it a shot, see if we can shrink them a little more. If we can't, I've got roughly uh, inch and five eighths rear stagger, uh, quite honestly. Yeah. Quite a bit more than I want for MTS with these treads, but that is the hand we are dealt when we're going to see if we can make these treads work. So I will basically get to the max and minimum point of growing and shrinking these tires, and then it will come down to uh, chassis setup. What can I do to counter the stagger and the harder tire? So, we'll be doing lots of different things, trying new things. We actually put Corey's cart. It does not have the setup, uh, and I should say it does not have the front end setup in it that we ran last year with the slicks. Last couple years, I should say. Um, we're actually going to start it right from ground zero and we're going to rebuild this setup for these tires. Of course, I've got everything in the notes, so if I ever have to switch it back to slicks or, or whatever, I know what works and doesn't work with this chassis. So that is uh, where we're sitting with that. So now I'm going to uh, pick up my daughter and we'll do it again tomorrow. So we will be back and... Uh, see what happens hey 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 everyone oh I'm, I'm i'm stoked right now everyone day day uh five or six i don't know where i'm at basically this whole week i have been uh trying to get um those tires that i've been talking about set up for Corey for mts and by god damn it it worked i didn't think i was gonna mm. so I, I shrunk right side tires last year. I could only shrink them so far and they won't go any farther. 
Well, God damn it, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but them seasoned tires that Corey's been running for the past year, year and a half to almost two years of racing at, at Rice Lake and Eagle's Nest, them, them some bitches shrunk. <laughs> and I got, I got super close to what I was trying to achieve for the rear stagger to be able to see if I can get these tires to work at MTS. Um, within a quarter inch, I would say that's pretty damn close. Um, the, the, of course, the front, um, I can't grill the left front tire because then it hits the body and I have uh, literally, like I told you before, uh, less than a finger width of uh, clearance right now um, until we're able to get some custom spindles in there. So the stagger in the front is is uh, a little a little a little more than my liking, but we will uh, uh, just have to roll with it and see what we can do. Um, but the fact I was able to get within the quarter inch um, of stagger in the rear, I'm just I'm just whoa. So I I left yesterday thinking I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm gonna get it to work, but. At this point, I'm, I'm pretty stoked, um, so just it makes it a little more exciting to hopefully weather holds up for us and we're able to hit the track in, in uh, just over a week. So, uh, with that, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, catch you on the next vlog.